this is a good teaching moment. So we're having uh, fuel uh, problem, fuel system problems. We think we're running out of fuel system. So what we're going to do is, since we have the car on the dyno, we're going to go ahead and record fuel rail pressure during a wide open throttle hit. I don't recommend you leaning over the sucker. I'm going to try to zoom in as much as I can. But I want to see how much the fuel rail pressure drops during a dyno wide open throttle pull. And then we can adjust or if we just need to throw a better pump in there or a third pump. This is a uh, return style system. Uh, dual pumps, dual 465s. Does it need a third pump? Does it need a booster on one of the pumps? We'll take a look. So right here we're going to record fuel rail pressure during the wide open throttle. Here. Why are we recording this? Um, basically, we need to figure out, let me get better lighting, not that you need to see my face or anything. Basically, we need to figure out if this car needs a third pump. Um, it's making, I can't imagine it needs a third pump. It has twin 465s right now. But we need to see whether both pumps are getting proper voltage, uh, whether it's getting proper fuel supply. It's obviously running out of fuel because it's not sustaining 55 PSI. It's boost referenced the fuel system so we know it's doing what it needs to do based on boost it's supposed to be supplying more fuel but it's not so we're gonna see if we need a third pump if we have a lazy pump but that's a good way of diagnosing if you have a fuel delivery issue is by either logging or recording the old-fashioned way uh, the actual fuel rail pressure the pressure at the fuel rail directly instead of one you know guessing whether your math transfer function shit things like that so and for those of you that say the TVS doesn't whine that kind of proves you wrong